Hey everyone, it's Duke here at Developer Inspired Welcome back to Daily Challenge. In this Daily Challenge, I want to show you how to animate a UI table view cell. And here's how app will look like after this Daily Challenge. This is this app that we developed in the All Things UI Table View series. If you want to take that course, follow the link down below and you can take the whole course at no charge. So this is the starter project and as we scroll like that, the cell will animate from left to right. It will slide in from left to right sl uh, slowly. But the special thing about this is as we scroll, those cells only animate once. So it doesn't create such a confusion for the users because sometimes animation will create very cool features. It makes your app stand out. But if you use um, animation too heavily, then the app will look very confusion. It looks kind of like dazzling, okay? So let's find out how to create this app. So the first thing to do is let's go down the link right below and download the starter project. Even if you are already taking the All Things Table Views, uh, All Things Table Views course, go ahead and download this starter project because I make some change to this project. Not very much changes, but I will tell you about that, okay? So let's spend a moment and download the starter project. Okay, I hope that you download the starter project. And now let's run this to see what's going on with this project. Okay, it's running. So we have this launch screen. And here is our app so far. And for those you, of you guys who are attending the All Things Table Review course, you will see that I have a different um, layout for these cells. I just want to show you that you don't have to um, restrict yourself with just one layout in um, a custom table view cell. Okay. And if you want to find out how to use custom table view cell, head over to the course. Okay. So. The starter project look very simple like that and you can actually click into this cell and see the detail view okay so let's find out how to animate those cells so that we create such a beautiful animation so the first thing i'm going to do is i open up the apple product view controller like that table view controller and then i will scroll down to this mark i have a mark here or you can find out over here I have the mock animate table view cell and we will do the animation code in this. So in order to do the animation code, we have to anim uh, we have to implement all the inform all the animation in a method, in a delegate method method of UI table view. And that delegate method is will display cell. Table view uh, will display cell. Okay. So I would do table view. And then I can find it right down below. Um, will display cell for row at index path. So I will do it like that. Okay. So you notice that we have a table view, we have the cell, and we have the index path. What I'm going to do now is I will um, I will have the let's do it very simple for the first time. So I will first. At first, I will set the alpha of the cell to be zero. So meaning that it's completely opaque. Okay, so as time goes by, I want to animate this cell. And the code that I'm going to use is a very simple method of UI view, which is UI view animates with duration. So we do UI view dot animate with duration like this. And we have to pass in two parameters. The first one is duration. A duration is an NS time interval. And it NS time interval is actually just one um, type alias, which is a double. And this is specifies the seconds you want to animate this. So I want to animate it in one second. So 1.0. And how about the animation? The animation is a closure. So we have to press enter, I just press enter there. And this closure is 
doesn't have any parameter, it returns nothing. So what a closure does is this method will host this closure um, as for one second, and the closure will host or captures those parameters or those code inside it for one second. It does whatever it needs to do, but it has the information it needs. Okay, so in here I will simply do cell dot alpha equals one. So it turns back to normal again. So let's run this. Okay, so what I need to do is I have to write override over here because I override this delegate method of table view cell, table view. So let's run this. Okay, so you see that as I scroll, okay, very, very slightly, those animate, um, those cell animate into, do you see if I scroll it like that, okay? But I want to do more, I want to, it, slide from left to right. So what I'm going to do now is I will have, I will use a, C, a CA transform 3D translate, okay? So I will do let rotation, ro rotation transform equals, and the method I'm going to use is CA, CA 3D transform translate, okay? CA transform 3D translate like that and press enter. What this does is it will animate, it will transform from this position from T into this X, Y, and Z. And if you notice that in, in a phone like this, we have the X coordinates like that, okay? The Y is like this and the Z is the axis that, um, that is right in front of you. It's point to your face, okay? So that's Z. So from this, I will do the CA transform, transform 3D identity, which is the current position actually. The X, I want it to shift to left 500 point. The Y is maybe 10, meaning that it will be down 10 points. And the Z is zero. I just want it to be zero, okay? And then we will have to assign this rotation transform to the layer dot transform of the cell. So we do cell dot layer dot transform. And this is a CA transform 3D. And I have to assign rotation, rotation transform, just like that, okay? And maybe now I can delete this one and I will delete this one, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I will inside this, I want to, this transform, it rotates back to the uh, original position. So we'll do cell.layer.transform, transform equals CA transform 3D identity. Okay, so let's run it. All right, you see that it slides like that, right? Very nice. But as you notice, we actually, when I scroll up like that, it still animates. It still animates those cells from left to right. What I'm going to do is right now, is I want to have some restriction. I don't want it to animate all the time like this. I just want it to animate once. So it creates a very cool effect that those cells are new to the users. And if they are, oh, the user already see that, we don't need to animate anymore. So what I'm going to do is I go back to Xcode, let's stop that. And then I will have a variable, um, maybe down up here. Okay, where's my variable thing? Okay, into the data source, we have a variable like that. And right down here, I will have a variable called var product shown. And this is an array of Bool, boolean, okay. And then uh, the array has a very cool method, which is count and then repeated value. And the count is I want to have product line dot number of products. So what is it means is that I have a product line over here. The model, we have a product line 
and the product line has a class variable called number of products and returns all the, the number of all the products inside this app. So we have the number of products and the repeated value is false. So what it does in this is it will create an array of boolean values, has number of products um, elements, and all of those elements will have a false starting value. Okay, very easy, right? So inside here, I would do something like if if the product shown sub index path dot row equal equals to false, meaning that we haven't seen this. The cell has been ha hasn't been shown yet. Then I will write it like that. If hasn't shown yet, then I will animate this, okay? And then I will mark it as shown. So I will do product shown dot sub index path dot row equals true. So it is shown just like that. And then we have this. And then the next time as we scroll it back, this will be true. So this is false. The statement here is false, so it won't animate anymore. Okay. And I will indent this by control I. Okay. So let's run this to see if it works. Okay. So it animates only once. You see that? Okay. Very cool. I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below, and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirus.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.